Uh, let me pass the floor now on to Mr. Bruno Lefebvre. He is a statistical analysis at, analyst at the Economics and Statistics Division of WIPO, and I hope he'll be able to give us a statistical snapshot view of what's happening in the world, both globally and, of course, in a more country-specific, more regional context in this whole area that we're talking about today. Yes, thank you, Chair. Uh, indeed, I would like to present you a PowerPoint uh, presentation that's coming in a minute. Um, and it will show you um, a brief overview on the recent research that WIPO has done to identify the woman participation in intellectual property. Uh, next slide, please. WIPO is a specialized agency of the United Nations, which is based in Geneva, and it is a global forum for intellectual property. And it has gender balance in it, within its mandate since 2014. In 2015, WIPO's gender and diversity specialist, Mrs. Kari Sato, and the Economics and Statistics Division have started a research to identify the gender of inventors named in international patent applications. At first, we had to create a worldwide gender name dictionary that now contains more than 6 million names valid for 182 countries. And thanks to this dictionary, we could identify the gender of more than 96% of all inventors named in international patent applications. What I understand here is international patent applications are patent applications filed in the international phase of the Patent Cooperation Treaty. And since 2016, WIPO has mainstreamed gender statistics in all in its statistics report. I would li like now to present you some of, of our key findings. Starting with the number of international patent applications that list at least one woman inventors that we've estimated to nearly 17,000 in 2016. But more interestingly is to look at the trend, this increasing trend over this 15 years period. A specialist of the PCT system will likely say that the overall number of international patent applications has also sharply increased during this period. So it's certainly interesting to look at the proportion of international patent applications with women inventors out of the total. And this is this graph here. And you see again an increasing share, an increasing trend over time. And this is an excellent news because it basically says that international patent applications with women inventors increase at faster pace than international patent applications. So this is really good news. But if you look at the shares in themselves, you see that in 2002, slightly more than 20% of all applications listed women inventors, rising to 30% in 2016, that's quite low shares. If you think 30% in 2016 means that nowadays, more than the two-thirds of all international patent applications filed list only men inventors, not a single woman inventor. You can see on this slide here, that shows again the share of international patent applications with women inventor, but this time by region, that for each of the region in the world, there's relatively low share with Latin America and the Caribbean, North America and Asia that are above average, but, but up to two percentage points above average. 
And below average, you have Africa, Oceania, and Europe. But what is very interesting and very encouraging from the, that you can see from this graph is that in each of the geographical regions in the world, there has been an increase in share over the past two decades. And this indicates that even though there is a large gender gap among inventors, there's a clear trend toward more equality. And this for each of the region in the world, even though obviously there we are far from gender balance. This graph uh, shows you now the same, again, the share of international patent applications with women inventors, but by field of technology, the, the field of technology of the invention. And it basically shows here that applications filed or inventions made in uh, the uh, area of life science, such as biotechnology or pharmaceutical, have much higher share of women inventors than applications filed in mechanical engineering, for example. You will be able uh, to find all these indicators and much more in our main statistics publication called the World Intellectual Property Indicators. We brought some paper copies for you there next to the entrance here. Uh, and my colleagues from the WIPO office in New York also kindly printed last year's special theme of this report that focuses, that provides a comprehensive analysis on the women participation in international patenting. Um, just note also that you can use, free to use, our worldwide gender name dictionary also. In uh, late 2017, we have uh, started new research to explore further intellectual property data. And we would like to identify now the gender of trademark holders or creators named in industrial design applications. And we would like to have uh, some of these new data available for April 26, 2018, because this day is the World Intellectual Property Day. And this year, the World Intellectual Property Day will focus on powering change, women in innovation and creativity. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Bruno, for all that analysis. And your message is quite clear that things are not bad as they seem, but they should move much faster if we are to move towards equality uh, at as rapid a pace as the world is shouting for. So clearly much more needs to be done. Now I'm